Good afternoon, everybody. We got the finished battery and solar project for you. Come check it out. system starts obviously the solar come this way so as soon as we capture all the energy from the Sun with the solar panels that energy goes to the inverter which is on this side of the house which distributes the power then all the excess energy will go to the battery cabinet which is in the garage over here so first we'll show you the inverter so all the solar energy flows through this conduit to the inverter the inverter is really the brains of the operation so first priority is all the loads in the home. So the inverter will convert the power and send the energy to the home. Any excess power will then top off the batteries. As soon as the batteries are full, all the excess power will then go to the grid. So if you look at the screen right now. So right now we're generating 3.2 kilowatts. It's 2.2. Oh, sorry, 2.1 <laughs> kilowatts. The house is using 700 watts. So we're sending the remaining power to the batteries right now. So you can see how much the house is consuming and then all the excess power is dumping into the batteries to charge up the batteries. They're about 50 to 60% full right now. As soon as those are full, then all the excess energy would feed over into the grid. And so as soon as the, as soon as the grid fails, you'll lose power to the grid. This will then say island and then the battery, the solar and the home would all be taken care of between the solar and the battery system. So in this home, really the most complicated part of all of it was rebuilding the electrical system. So if you follow me, this is the essential loads panel. So all the circuits inside of here, as you can see, so as soon as the grid fails, all of these, this is all of his lighting and everything. The only thing that's not in here is his hot tub, um, his air conditioner, and his electric range. Other than that, everything else is getting power from the, from the sun or the batteries. This is the non-essential load. So as soon as the grid fails, that auto transfer switch, that big box on the wall, will throw a contactor and make it to where the rest of the house doesn't have any power. So the air conditioner wouldn't have power and those other items that I just explained. But everything in this panel will always have power, whether the sun's up or not, whether the grid's up or not, it's, it's just always going to work. It's fantastic. And again, the main reason we had to do this is all of his circuits were in his main panel, so there was no way to get a physical disconnect between the grid and the, essentially the circuits that we wanted power when the grid's no longer present or when it is present. The nice thing about this Generac system is we can, we can scale up, we can double the solar capacity and double the battery capacity without rebuilding any of the circuitry or anything like that. So it's pretty easy to tie more solar in and then just add a couple more batteries if, if the homeowner ever decides to do that. All right, everybody, thanks for taking the tour with us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want more videos like this, let us know. We're happy to get you more videos and vice versa. If you're working on a project yourself and you want some advice on it or help, let us know. Re email us, call us, text us, whatever, and we'll help you on any of your own projects. Have a good one. Stop.